tonight from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a special Saturday night edition of the NFL on EA Sports. the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Cincinnati Bengals. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, an early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. They often say you can't force situations, you just have to let them happen organically, and that's exactly what happened in Kansas City as Patrick Mahomes took over as the quarterback and has become the face of the franchise in the NFL as we now move into the 101st season. Fourth year in the league, already has an MVP, a Super Bowl title, and a Super Bowl MVP on his resume. Three huge games in the postseason last year, 10 touchdowns, just two interceptions, and two more on the ground. He just keeps getting better and better, and every time you watch him play, you want to see more. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There is no doubt that Geno Atkins is really strong and stout at the point of attack. But I love his suddenness, the ability to make plays, to be in one spot, and then... He's gone, and into the offensive backfield, he's a heck of a player. And there, a big TFL tackle for loss. Hard to believe that his father, Gene Atkins, was an NFL defensive. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. The so a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in April. From LSU, it's Joe Burrow. When you read off Joe Burrow's numbers his last year at LSU, they almost don't even seem correct. I mean, 76% of his passes complete. That's the second best all-time at the collegiate level. End up throwing 60 touchdown passes, accounted for 65 touchdowns, and only threw six interceptions and won a national championship. Joe Burrow is not just a terrific player. He has that it factor as well, and that's what they're counting on in Cincinnati. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. 
And well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. The linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. Charles, a look there at the Bengals draft class for 2020. You know, a lot of names on it, but let's be real. Ultimately, it's going to be the performance of Joe Burrow that determines the success or failure of this group. But when you do select a quarterback at number one, and he's a quarterback coming off of maybe the greatest college season in history, yeah, he is going to make or break your draft. But I do think they got some really good players in the draft as well. In T. Higgins, a wide receiver out of Clemson, and Logan Wilson, a linebacker out of Wyoming. They will help make their draft class solid as well. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He's got his man here. It's Green. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First down, Bengals. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They go play action with Burrow. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. Come five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards, the final tally. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. First and goal from the three. Again, it's Burrow. Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Complete to A.J. Green. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Bengals are going to take a first-quarter lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and it's now a 7-0 game. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. 
and this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive, and they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. A quick first down. Pick up. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Geno Atkins got home that time. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And it's complete. It's Damian Williams. It'll be a gain of nine. And just like that, it's third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 35. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. First and 10. At the That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 27. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And his throw's going to be incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Burrow looking to pass. Green's got it over the middle. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A.J. Green. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And while it didn't work very well, well, on that play, defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's got this down to the 35. 
Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. His throw incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. stick with it on first down and this one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. that was well played there defensively two tight ends in the formation which essentially gave them seven blockers up front hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through but that's exactly what happened a loss resulted. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And it's third. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, the chance to make something happen once yet. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. To number 83. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Well, they have to be loving this start to the first quarter. Well, the way that they're going, I mean, you're about two touchdown drives already. They feel very confident and feel like they have all the answers in this game. They're one point away from going up 14 to nothing. Maybe they press the advantage and go for two. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. To Marcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. But it'll be second down. It's now second An incomplete down. pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Third down and nine. Mahomes now to throw. The Bengal press 
Fisher gets him that time. Down he goes. Mahomes sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Here's Tommy Townsend now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded at about the 28. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A terrific return there. 27 yards all told. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get. Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Burrow will throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. The sack comes from Anthony Hitchens. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. From midfield now, Burrow. And he locates Walker, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he's not able to get away. Sacks back at the 22. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now it's Burrow. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Boyd with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, his car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. 
and this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. 25 yard line. Time now for Patrick Mahomes as we put him in our player's spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 21-0, our score after one. Chiefs, nothing. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Matt Moore, the backup, ready for his first throw. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. First and 10. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First and ten, looking middle, and it's incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Throwing again. Moore got an open man. It's Pringle. Moore is five yards. Now it's third and five. Pringle. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get out of steam going. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 29-yard line. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now more. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt to the backfield. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They run from the shotgun with Washington. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. A four-yard pickup that gets him going forward, but still 15 yards left on third down. From the gun, Moore. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 16. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball, let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. First and goal at the three-yard line. 
They'll run it with Williams. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. This defense is really pulled around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The leading rusher for last year's national champs, LSU. It's Clyde edwards alaire And he is in. Touchdown. Kansas City taking it in from four yards out, and the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. That seemed like a much-needed touchdown after 21 unanswered points to start the game. It's not often that you equate a football game to a golf tournament, but it's like you don't want to shoot yourself out of the tournament too early, so they needed that touchdown to make sure that they got an opportunity to not just get back into this game, but a chance to win it later if they continue to play well. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. The limited running room is he'll get about three to the 21. Tackle made at the 20. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Joe Mixon, the ball carrier. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The Bengals on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect six for six. This is third and four. Now Kaepernick, his first toss off the bench. He's got a man, and that's Alex Erickson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Now after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Switch, switch, switch. Easy, easy, easy. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. First down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. To throw, Kaepernick. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. I'll tell you what, he did not have much time there to skin the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Yeah. Meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry.
sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Kaepernick. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 30. 22 yards there, a first down. Cincinnati. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. down is Kaepernick. Open man, Erickson. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. On the carry. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out that heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And he's heating up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Five yards on the play. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And the Bengals on third down. They haven't been stopped yet. A perfect seven for seven. This will be third and five. Now Kaepernick. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Oh, he left this one out to the right. That's a bad miss. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. Moore throwing on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line second and a yard. Washington now out of the gun. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. Right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run. Sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. On the pickup. Second and six. Here's Moore to throw on second down. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Ricky. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. For a Kansas City. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. 
A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Off the play fake. Four. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Operating from the gun. Moore. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. Moore, it's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. It's now Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete andy reed some say always unpredictable and here he says we're going for it on fourth down and a quick throw here that's complete and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 22-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. To throw is more. On first and ten. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. At the 35-yard line. To throw again. Moore. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now more throwing on first down. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Bunker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. A drive that time of six plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Randy Thought Bullock momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in just a minute. As we've started the countdown to opening night, three more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started less than one month from tonight. In our game, most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but... Plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Harrison Bunker. Probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. On the return, it's Alex Erickson. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The 
Bengals take over first and ten. The Chiefs defense getting ready to roll, and they have been disruptive in the backfield. Now, how often when we see this, as we look at some of these highlights, is it just better players getting in there versus scheme that is defeating the offense? It's a great question, and I think oftentimes we rely on scheme. We fall back and say, well, the scheme broke down rather than giving credit to the players making plays. But when the scheme does break down, you're looking at oftentimes just being overloaded. Too many guys coming from one side or one particular area, then you can actually block them. You know, if there's two guys there to block them, they'll bring three, and that third guy will get through. So when you want to max protect there, meaning getting everyone in, your whole offensive line, your tight end, and your running backs, trying to make sure that you're never outnumbered by the defensive guys coming in. And a good pickup there by Mixon, and that shows the talent that he has. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, fourth in the NFL in 2018, ninth last year. But I look for those numbers to jump back up again with the introduction of new talent in Cincinnati. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mixon with it. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Ball carrier. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On the delay, it's Mixon. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Each team has its own terminology. Some people call it jumbo, some call it monster, some call it king. But it doesn't really matter. They brought in the big lumber to pick up that first down. Yeah, you think about goal line defense with the goal line offense that time getting it done. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now they'll throw with Kaepernick. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Kaepernick was looking to throw, but then it became decision time. And when he saw they had room to run, he made the right decision to pull it down there, and he winds up picking up the first down. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get that ball to Auden Tate, but it's going to be second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Kaepernick will try again on second down. That's going to be caught, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab, and the Bengals are able to grow their lead. I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden were going home with a loss. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. 
taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Edwards aware. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third down and seven. More on third down. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. DJ Reader. His second sack of the night. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Here's the Chiefs punter now, standing just about on his own goal line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Daniels, An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. First down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. On the run, it's Mixon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He's brought down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 yards there, first down. Seven-yard line. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. now on first down. They'll set up the screen here to Mixon. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. Gonna go down. He sacked back in the 24. Tano Passigno. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. The 
battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. KC's offense ready to take over. So they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. That catch good for only a couple. So they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Moore. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Here's Moore on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. More now. Completes it to Hardman. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. He'll find Clyde Edwards Alaire. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Or maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Tackle made back at the point. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Edwards Hilaire. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Operating from the gun. Moore. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's the Chiefs punter now. He's been terrific so far. And 
this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20, the Bengals set to take over. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Tedrick nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Kaepernick now to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Now Joe Mixon. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A gain of nine brings up third down. Again, it's Mixon. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now Kaepernick. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bengals just continue to pour it on. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards. Edwards. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But it's certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. And that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Moore. That to his running back, Edwards Allaire. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Moore. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 10 more there and another first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the gun, Moore. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Ricky Seals Jones. When you execute a drag or a crossing around really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there, second down. Brings up An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again, Moore. This will be caught at about the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Good. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. One yard line. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. They'll try to run with Edwards Hilaire. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four yard line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their... And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards-Alaire ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the 
the Chiefs are in for six. CD it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And it's up and good. So that drive 12 plays in length, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. On the other side, they've had trouble stopping him, not only on the ground, but through the air. He's hit the century mark running the ball. He's approaching that, receiving it. I'm starting to think, Brandon, we're going to have to start judging running backs by a little bit different standard, and we know the gold standard now is 1,000 yards running the football. But I think we've got to start looking at all-purpose yards, yards from scrimmage. That's probably a better measure of what you're getting from these backs because look at the game we're getting here. He's run it well. But overall, his damage has been done catching it. Yeah, and I'm curious to see if that will continue. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I bought him out. They tend to leave him in. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Really call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Kaepernick to throw on second down. He almost had it. The big D lineman nearly had an interception. Instead, it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. The third down pass. Intercepted. Fourth quarter pick, a something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. And now here comes Kansas City. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. More now on first and 10. And he'll look underneath here for Edward Zolaire. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. City Chiefs, first down. 
First and ten at the to throw is Moore. Throwing on first down. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. That's another Kansas City Chiefs. First down. First and 10 at the 28 yard line. Now more on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line. Edwards Elair. So second and four from the 22. Brings up second and four at the 22 yard line. Operating from the gun. Moore throwing middle, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Moore from the gun on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Sam Hubbard able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Now more. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Well, they went with a nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Moore operating from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on four. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Brett and every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. They try to run on first down, but this defense says no dice. They stop them a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. 
A draw play for Mixon. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third and long, it's Kaepernick. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. But when you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They're going for it. It's Kaepernick. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mixon with a first down carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Indeed, take a knee. Tonight's final. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.